Jacob is a man on a mission, excited to share his lifelong obsession with the multimillionaire investors. I'm very passionate. I couldn't do even one day without my own products. Imagine liking chocolate and getting paid to eat it. That's how I feel. I'm a fan of the Dragon's book. Everybody has a different skill set, and we feel that the Dragon's can help us to take it to the next level. Hello, Dragons. I'm Jacob Tundle, Chief Nut at Cocofina, the Coconut Experts. We produce coconut products to eat, drink, and cook with. I was born in a place called Kerala, and Kerala means in Sanskrit, land of coconuts. Cocofina was my destiny. As a young boy, I was fascinated with the amount of uses out of coconut. And today, I use coconut products every day. The market for coconut oil and coconut water alone in the US is worth around 750 million pounds, and in the UK, 50 million pounds and doubling annually. Our turnover figures over the last three years has been 1 million, 600,000 and 300,000 uh, respectively rounded up and net profit 70,000, 50,000 and 12,000. I'm offering 5% for 75,000 pounds. We would welcome a dragon to join the coconut experts to build a super brand for coconuts. I would welcome you to try our products. It's a passionate pitch from Jacob Thundill who is offering 5% of his food and drink business for a £75,000 investment. Thank you. Thank you. With a wide range of coconut products, from water and milk to snack bars and oils, can Jacob's enthusiasm penetrate the dragon's impermeable shells? First up is Deborah Meaden, who wants to know about Jacob's current route to market. So talk me through who you're selling through at the moment. So we're selling to Harrods, Fennec, Darts Farm, Diverse Fine Foods, Holland and Barrett, 700 stores for the coconut water alone. And we export to 25 countries outside of the UK. So how much is export of your turnover? 45% is export. Right. 55% is UK. And who's your target retailers that you want to be working with? So uh, now I want to get into pharmacy. But this morning I got an email from Superdrug saying, I'm a big fan of your products and I'd like to meet you. I want to get into Boots and then Marks and & Spencer and Waitrose. It's a confident start from Jacob, with big name retailers already on his books, as well as in his sights. But Peter Jones, who has fingers in several foodie pies, is interested in how the entrepreneur developed his company. You started three years ago, is that right? No, originally started 11 years ago and working full time and working part time on the business. What did you do 11 years ago? So I started with coconut water, I did 30,000 pounds worth in a year. Nobody knew what coconut water was. 11 years ago? Yeah. Why so many products? I want to make sure that I show innovation to the customer. I want to establish myself as a coconut expert. So for example, the soy sauce alternative, I've only started making them in less than a year, but I've sold around 15,000 bottles of them. Really nice bar. Thank you. It's rare for an entrepreneur to pass the Peter Jones taste test, but it looks like Jacob has done it. Now Tuka Suleiman wants to know more about the business structure behind the self-professed chief nut. Describe your organisation to me. So there's me, and then there's a lady that started with me. Uh, she's a 50% shareholder of the business. What's her name? Uh, Manisha. Tell us a little bit more about her uh, and her background. She's here and I met her at a trade show in France. I was doing a stand there and she was inspired by the product, so she said, can I come over to the UK to work on an internship? And then she never left. Can we meet her? Yeah, sure. She's, uh, she's downstairs. There's a momentary pause in proceedings as camera shy Manisha Solanki agrees to join Jacob in the den. Having discovered she's an equal partner in the company, the Dragons want to assess the part she plays in running it. 
I just want to mention Hello, hello, <laughs> Manisha. I apologise for dragging you out at, uh, with no notice, but uh, it's obvious that you're a very important part of this business. What I'd like to understand is how you divide th the roles. I'm sales, marketing, purchasing. Manisha is all operations, so logistics, all the deliveries, everything like that. Great. So basically, Great. once he has made the sales, I'll take care of everything. The Dragons now have a more complete picture of the company, and so far, it seems to be ticking their boxes. But food and drinks guru Sarah Willingham is concerned that their next target is pharmacies, not supermarkets. What I'm really interested in is the direction that you want to take the business, because what's great about Coconut at the moment is it is going into mass market. But when we ask you the direction that you want to take the business in, your answer was pharmacy. And that really flummoxed me. Yes, if we go into mainstream, we need to have a plan. We met Tesco, so they said, can you sell all these products to us? So I'm thinking, how do I keep yeah. my existing customer base, not upset them, and try and build from there? That really interests me, because I know Tesco very, very well, and this is exactly the kind of product that they are looking for, and it's exactly what I thought when I saw you. That would be the direction that I would want to take the business in. We're open to change because we're not a big business that... But would you see that as change, though? Uh, would that... I would see it as a risk. You said you want to be Marks and Spencers? Yes. You know, I've got great connections at Marks and Spencers. They have a, a, a delicatessen department. Might be your first great step. That's what I mean, yes. Because. But um, then it's 2% of the market compared to 30% of the market. The tension is palpable as the two dragons pitch rival retail plans for the products. But Deborah Meaden is about to take the den by surprise and cut through the charged atmosphere. Jacob, I'm going to break cover. OK. You might be a little bit cautious, yes. but it makes you stop and work stuff out. I actually think you've taken a good route. And I only say that because a lot of businesses I get involved with rush to the big supermarkets, not necessarily ready. And actually, as soon as you hit those shelves, your margins drop. Yes. You know, and I always think there's a proving time. So I'm kind of aligned with you and you're very good. Thank you. So, I'm going to make you an offer. And I'm going to offer you all of the money. I want 20% of the business. And I want 20% of the business because there is, A, obviously the contacts that I can bring, but I think the development side, there's a little bit of work that needs to be done on that. But I think we are the team that can do it, so that's my offer to you. Leaving the other dragons in her wake, Deborah Meaden's sudden but decisive offer is a welcome breakthrough for Jacob and Manisha. But at 20%, it's four times more than the entrepreneurs want to give away. Will another dragon sweeten the deal? Well, I think I might pitch him with an offer as well. I love the passion that you have for the product. There's a really authentic basis to this business. But what you haven't done very much of is really developing your brand. That's something that I have a reasonably good understanding of. And know the kind of people that you would need to be able to, to be able to drive that forward. So I'm going to match the offer. All of the money for 20%. I really like what you've said. I like the way you've tackled the questions. And I'm such an enormous user of the product. I love it. I'd really like to work with you on this. I think this is a business I could get very, very passionate about. So I'm going to match the offer. All of the money for 20% of the business. And Sarah Willingham makes three giving Jacob and Manisha a lot to think about. Will Tuka Suleiman make it four in a row? The path you're taking in making a luxury product is definitely right. 
My background is production, distribution, contacts. And I appreciate you've got all these offers. So I'm going to add a bit of spice to it. You're seeking 75,000, aren't you? Yes. I'm going to give you 100,000. I want 25%, but you can have the 5% back when I get my money back. Thank you. By offering more cash than the entrepreneurs pitched for, Tuka Suleiman is clearly hoping to trump the other three dragons. But Peter Jones, who turned a den source investment into a multi-million pound business, is still mulling over the deal. I feel like I know a lot about this type of market. I'm knowledgeable enough to understand where the market pitfalls are and what happens as you try to grow a business such as this. And my issue, actually, potentially for you, is your brand. Have you got any product that you can see can go mainstream and scale yeah. whilst not desecrating your brand? Yeah, the glass jar with the coconut milk will definitely go mainstream because coconut milk is such a huge market because everybody uses it, but it doesn't come with the convenience of returning it back to the fridge. I agree with that. Anything else? The snack bars, we started 18 months ago, yes. and we've now sold around 200,000 bars this year. I'm going to make you an offer. And it's definitely an offer that I think that you should accept. I'm going to offer you all of the money for 20%. I like it enough to say that I would split it with another dragon. Can I ask you a question, though? If we were to buy the shares back from you for double the money in three years' time, would you give up 10% back to us? Um, I, I could say no. I think that you would be seriously undervaluing the fact that I could pick the phone up to Boots and I could help immeasurably with your business. Just so you know, my position would be it's absolutely the same. I don't have an issue with the idea that if you come in at 20% and you say, not after three years, but after one year, that you say, right, actually, I want to reduce you down to 10% and it's going to cost you £75,000. I don't have a problem with that. That would be enough by that point to have done the things that I can do for you in terms of developing the brand. And I think, I think this brand can be developed. Thank you. I would just want to add one thing that I would very much be prepared to split it with another dragon. Sarah, would you be prepared to split it on the terms that I suggested? Yes, I would. I would be prepared to split it with Nick. I think between the two of us, you get two for the price of one. I don't think we need to discuss further. Right. Uh, OK. Brilliant. Brilliant. Great. Thank you. I'm sorry. Hug. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Felicitations. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> brilliant. Well done. Oh, You've got two great. good dragons. I think you made a big mistake by not choosing me. <laughs> he always thinks that. Thank you from the land of coconuts. Well done. Great. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Bye-bye. Jacob and Manisha have done it, and they leave the den with two dragons on board. They've given up 20% of their company, but agreed a deal that means they could potentially buy back 10% of the equity in 12 months' time. <laughs> I really liked him. Yeah. yeah, good solid business. He's not as sharp as I thought he was at the end. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was amazing. It was an incredible experience. Oh, my heart just <laughs> cannot stop beating, actually. <laughs> We feel it's an incredible combination because you have one person with food and the other person with online. So what more can you ask for? So it's a dream team for us.